Good morning here at Chaos. We just picked up something pretty awesome. We love the way this thing looks. We gave $200 for it because that's all I had right now. But it's still pretty cool. The guy was awesome, hooked me up on a good price. Thank you again if you're watching this video. Oh yeah. And we're right now gonna go through it, see what we need to do to get this thing running again. It's got pretty low mileage, so I'm gonna show you that now. Let's get started. Okay, so this is a Rocky 49. So I'm assuming it's a 49cc engine. It looks like a 49. That's a small carburetor. And right now we're just looking at it. We're just, and I found out it's got 700. Let's see if I can zoom in there. 728 miles on it, which is very low miles. I was guessing it was low miles because of the tire tread wear. Isn't too bad. We just have to air up the tires. He told me it's all LED headlights, tail lights, turn signals. And this thing should be legal in the state of Georgia. So, what's that oil smell like? Gassy? No. No? Sweet. It sounds like it so, like we'll definitely do an oil so change on it. Sun. We'll flush the carburetor, drain the tank. What's it got? It's start too. Ooh. It's going to be nice. <laughs> it's got the little rack on the back. This is definitely going to Mini Mayhem next year. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a cruiser. Well, there's the Vintag telling us about it. Which... All right, so I'm going to roll it up there and start wrenching on it. Sure. All right, let's do it. I don't know what that thing is. Looks like some type of vacuum line or something. Uh, I would assume so. Yeah. What's that get going? What the hell's going? down here into the engine oh it's going through the exhaust isn't it uh, down by the exhaust area okay yeah it's but you uh, emissions it's probably some type of emissions yeah huh might see if we can eliminate that but i might give us a little more performance it might get a little more i don't know if we'll do anything really we'll see we'll find out yeah, but yeah. we're gonna try to make it fast it's a semi-automatic so you just tap it, you don't have a clutch, you just let off the gas, tap it, tap it, tap it. It's pretty simple. We had a little pit bike with the same setup. Honestly, I think it's pretty nice. It's just cruise. We took up the cover on the freaking chrome. So that's kind of nice. I'll Probably that. get that pit bike going again. Try yeah, that's a good idea. We need to get some pit bikes. We, we have do. the little dirt bike, but I don't really count that as a pit bike. It's bigger than a... That's a dirt bike. That's an actual dirt bike. It's big. Excuse my voice cracking. Yeah. <clears throat> my does... Every morning I was dealing with moldy stuff yesterday. Or last night. Yeah. And it does have a hub brakes front and rear. I want to see if they work. Roll it. Hit it. No, just hit the brake. I'll roll the spin the tire. Okay. That's back. Okay, back's working. All right, let's tell the back. Yep, they work. Work great. We got brakes. We're already pretty much. It's pretty much done. More than yeah. you can say about most of our other <laughs> mini bikes. Yeah. So let's go ahead, rolls back there, and get wrenching on it. Okay. So I didn't drain the gas out of the tank because it didn't smell too bad to me. It's like it's on the verge of going bad, but it's not bad. But I drained the float bowl with the little screw right here. Zoom in there, see if I can get the focus. Yeah, there's a little screw back here. You unscrew it, it drains the gas out of this little spout. You can run a hose to your old tank to get rid of some fuel. I, I just took the hose off and I noticed I had some decent looking fuel coming out. It looked pretty good, in my opinion. I ran worse. So now we're gonna choke it, figure out which way it chokes. I'm assuming that way, we'll give that a try. Because usually, when you're not running it, so. Yeah, I'm going to go with that being a choke. Choke on. Choke off. We might need to grease that. That's a little stiff. All right, yep. so let's see what it does. I'm going to try kickstarting it, and then 
If that doesn't do anything, we'll try working with the battery. Mm. Let's see. It's a little different than a... Maybe. Maybe. Try flipping it down. Maybe I have to run the wrong way. Let's check the battery up so I don't, don't wear myself out kick starting. Alright, so we just hooked the battery up. This is one way you can always jump a battery with the newer chargers. You can hook jumper cables to your small battery that's dead. It's usually completely dead. Hook it up to a car battery. I'm using a deep cell boat battery. And then I'm going to bring my jump, my charging pack out here and hook it up to this. Because now it's technically got voltage. So it's gonna pick up on my little, my new charger system and start charging that battery, plus charging that battery. So it's gonna take a little bit longer, but once this gets a little bit of juice, it'll start taking a charge if it's a good battery. So it may not be a good battery, we don't know, we might have to replace it. So right now I just got it hooked up to the battery. I'm gonna see if it'll kick like that, because this is a small engine, it might do it. Let's see what happens. I don't know if the brake light works. Good stuff. A belly compression? That's all I have any compression, to be honest with you. Where's the spark plug on the sparker? Uh, on that side, maybe? It's right here. Okay. I'm looking right at it and I, was like, and I don't see it. <laughs> Too early in the morning. It really is. So we're going to check for spark real quick. Which, we have gas all over the engine right there, so we need to check for spark somewhere safe. <laughs> yeah, go up the bat. We're just gonna stick a screwdriver in here and hold it against something, some metal. That's all right. Jordan, wanna bump it over and see if I get electrocuted? Fine. Sure. That's just water. Okay. Yep, we got sparks. All right. All right. So we got sparks. So that's one really good sign. So we're getting sparks. Okay. So what we're doing? I'm just gonna take the AirPod off because now it could just be a clogged jet at this point. Which I'm gonna try just doing the old fashioned. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like how it screws on the of that. It's a waterproof shield that goes over the other pod. That uh, that's pretty clogged. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna take this bad boy off. Yeah, I think it's crispy. You may end up replacing that too. Which we should have both. I'm not planning on driving this in the rain or in the mud, so I would just bet a cheaper air filter. Yeah. Alright, so now let's try. In the good old fashioned. Oh, uh, let me see which way it chokes it. So up is choke, that's what I was thinking. Maybe. Yeah. Yep, yeah, up is yeah, choke. Up is choke. Okay, so. We were right. right. We were you right. We were right. Yeah. All right, starter fluid time. Let's give her some starter fluid. All right, let's hit it with some starter fluid and see what she does. Let's try to open up the choke. Uh, spark plug. It might. Let's check the Let's spark plug. Let's pull and check it. We're getting spark. Yeah, let's check that. Okay, Jordan, hit it. Let's see if it does anything. Hit it again. Shouldn't take that much. It should be popping over right now. Yeah. Why not over? I don't know. 
Skinny fuel. Skinny fuel. It's got sparks. It's building compression. Yeah. Should be starting now. Yeah, it's everything. You need to make an engine run. Not that I know of. Somebody's gonna be like those retards. They're missed. They didn't do this, and boom. But we're gonna figure it out. Okay. We'll figure this out. We're just gonna keep finagling with it. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we moved it into the garage. It's not firing. We got it to kind of sputter, but it's not firing. So we took off the cover where the uh, magneto and all that stuff is in the pickup. And there was been water sitting in here, you can tell that. And it's been sitting at an angle, so I don't, I think we lucked out. I don't think it got to this part. There's moisture. But no sitting water got to this part. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off, clean all the parts, clean all these parts, and we're gonna try to kick it over before we adjust the valves, because the valves might be good. I think we might be able to just get by cleaning this. Because this did have the little looking glass, like you can just look through and adjust the valves, but it's it was gross, so we're gonna go ahead and clean it all up real quick. Alright, so I just got in sanding this, getting it all cleaned up. I'm gonna blow it off. <gasps> there we go, clean. See, I blew it off, so it's all good now. I, oh, I'm, I probably should use the air hose, you know. That's good enough. <laughs> but okay, so it's cleaned up. It's now good, I. Good enough. Yeah, exactly. I got it cleaned. I got all the rust off of it. it. Looks a lot better. I'm gonna get that reinstalled. And I found out why there's moisture in here. The gasket back here was messed up. This part wasn't even touching. You can see where it was attached. Let's see if I can hold it up there so you can see it. What I saw. I was trying to move it over a little bit, so I kind of broke it, but you know what? It wasn't working anyway. It was like that. There we go. It was not lining up correctly. So, yeah. I might try to see if I have some Mickey gasket to kind of dab on there. But it might run now. Let's go ahead and get it put back together and see what it does. Okay, so we just got done adjusting the valves. We got everything put back together, sort of. We said to put caps on, but you know. Good so enough. let's hit it with some start fluid, see what she does. Start fluid. Come on, baby. Come on. Doing something. Uh, 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 oh yeah. She's running. Still not getting fuel, but she's running. Fuel. Not getting fuel, so we oh. need to tear into the carburetor. It's probably that got a clogged good. jet. It doesn't sound bad. It sounds really good to me. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and tear into this and figure it out. Okay. So I just took the float ball off. Look at that nasty looking fuel in there. Let me take it a little closer. It's, it's pretty gross in oh, there. Oh yeah, you can see it. It looks like Shrek swamp in there. So I'm gonna dispose of this the right way. There we go, taking care of it, I just disposed of it. Don't worry, it wasn't on camera. Uh, oh, that's... I need to get more carb plant. Oh man, that is disgusting, dude. It's like got gel in there. Yeah, you might need to actually take a wire brush to that. I have this little scrubby here. It that leaves debris, the only thing I don't like about it. But we can but get I'm it out. But I'm gonna spray it out so it's not a big deal. But, clean is clean, you know. Yeah. Is it even doing anything? Yeah, it's breaking it up. I'm running out of all my fluids. Time to make it run to the store. Yep. Two O'Reilly's. They should sponsor us. They don't. People don't like sponsoring smaller YouTube channels. It kind of sucks. Cause what if we're the next big thing? And we just like, you know what? This place is too small for me, you know? Maybe I'm just too good for you. Some places just don't like sponsoring you, which kind of sucks. It's like, cause even the little guys need help, you know? Yeah, we spent enough there anyway. Dude, I, I don't want to count how much I've spent at O'Reilly's recently. Oh, no. 
is. It's all out of pocket. I'd be happy with somebody just sent me some fucking oil. Because you know how much it cost me to do oil changes on this stuff? I'll love to have some oil or, you know, just little things like gasoline to help us keep this shit going. Because this is obviously because somebody put regular gas. Not premium. You drive a machine like this, it sips fuel. Just put premium in it. Yeah, because it doesn't, it doesn't cost that much more when it's a small engine like this. And I'm going to put premium in it after I use some of the fuel that's already in it. Because this fuel smells fine. It might be premium. I don't know. But now since we know what's wrong with it. Junky carb. Okay, so that's not bad now. So that's good enough. Now let's go after this. Yeah. Oh yeah, look. Oh, the main yeah. jet's completely clogged up. I'm not sure if you can see in there. You can zoom out a little bit. And it will focus on the jet. Go to the... There we go. There we go. There you go. Now you can see in there. That jet is completely I, clogged. Yeah, you can see that. With that, with that jello looking. It literally looks like jello. It's right here. Yummy. It's gross. So I'm going to go to get some more carb cleaner real quick. So, two O'Reilly's. Okay, so we got the jets cleaned out. It's pretty much brand new now, you know. Full rebuild. And we're right now, um polishing the paint you know with this really stuff this really good stuff called motor oil on a rag yeah it looks great um so once he's done shining it we'll try bumping it over see how she runs jordan you ready sure all right good enough all right good enough. that's on yeah. lights on okay ready Doing stuff. Maybe choke it. Okay. There we go. You gotta get a little gas. It's alive. Sounds good too. Idling. Got turn signals. LED. Fancy. But I'm gonna change the headlight because I don't think that's LED. No, that's not LED. I think it's hot as already. Yep. So we'll finish getting it cleaned up, put the body panels on, take it for a test drive. Let's do it. All right, first test drive. Let's see how it runs. I got it in first gear right now. Yeah, it runs and drives pretty good. I want right, to try it. Let's do it. I'm going to do a little more footage. I want to try it. Yeah. That's only I had to record with this. I didn't downshift it. I just killed it.
Yeah, hold my camera. I just killed it. Jordan, you ready for your first ride? Are you ready? Yeah, that mirror is kind of loose. You need to tighten her down a little bit. There you go. That's better. Oh. Yo, you feel it when it goes in the gear. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. and just watch it because that is your brake, so don't ride it. Yeah. You're good this way. It's fast, gutless though.
Yeah, Crocs might. And they're not even in sports mode, so there's that too. Yeah, it's a fun little ride. It's like, it doesn't have a whole lot of power though. It's got speed, but torque is low. Yeah, I noticed that. Overall, it's a good bike. All right, let's head back. You had to join us, didn't you? <laughs> Shall we roll? <laughs> Okay hey guys, so the bike is running. It's pretty good. It's low torque, but it's got decent speed to it. So we're going to do a top speed run in the future on this Rocky 49 bike, which is pretty cool. I like it. Everything seems to be working. It does not have a horn, so we're going to install a horn. But if you guys like this video, hit that like button, subscribe. And I will see you guys in another episode of Chaos. Do